اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Moderated Mediation Hayes Process Macro Model 14 Now this is the conceptual diagram, this is the statistical diagram. We've got one predictor, one mediator, one dependent variable and one moderator variable. These variables are continuous. Model 14 allows up to 10 mediators operating in parallel. Moderated Mediation in more complex models, you may have a mediation model that also has a moderator on one of the indirect paths. Not only you are trying to determine if mediation is present, but you are also trying to see if the moderator is changing the strength of indirect effect. Let us look at our moderation example. We are going to examine if the moderator is influencing the indirect path, that is the path from OC to OP through collaborative culture. Our moderator in this case is role ambiguity, which negatively influences this particular relationship. However, apart from looking at the moderating role of role ambiguity in this particular relationship, you are also going to test moderated mediation, that is whether role ambiguity moderates or strengthens or weakens the indirect effect from OC to OP through collaborative culture. Now, how do we run this? Again, let's go to SPSS. Analyze. Regression. Organizational commitment is your X variable. P is your DV. CC is your mediator. Role ambiguity is my moderator. And the model is model 14. Okay. Now here is the output. Again, always recommended to check your model number, your dependent, your independent, your mediator and moderating variables. Now all this output, I put it in my sheet here. Now one more thing which we forgot, just quickly let's go back, regression. And I didn't go to the options. Make sure if you want these graphs, continuous variables that define products are mean centered, low, average and high level of the moderator, johnson Neiman output, continue and then press OK. Now here are your results. The first thing again, make sure you have got the correct model with all the correct variables. Now all this output here is presented in this PowerPoint. Let's move on. Output interpretation. Now first thing that you see is your summary output. Now this is only for the endogenous variable collaborative culture which is affected by organizational commitment. Is it significant? Yes, it is significant because the organizational commitment or the p-value for organizational commitment is less than 0 0.05. There is no zero in between the lower level and upper level confidence interval. Organizational commitment has a significant impact on collaborative culture. Moving on, again, another summary interpretation or summary table. In this case, now the output is organizational performance. And all these variables are influencing organizational performance. We will have an interaction as well of CC and RA because RA moderates this particular relationship. Now, organizational commitment has a significant impact on OP, the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Collaborative culture has a significant impact on organizational performance, the p-value is less than 0 0.05. There is no zero in between here. Role ambiguity also has a significant impact on organizational performance. Negative, the t-value is greater than 1.96, the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and there is no zero in between here. Is the interaction significant? Does role ambiguity moderate this particular relationship? Yes, it does. Why? Because the p-value is less than 0 0.05, the t-value is greater than 1.96 and there is no zero in between. So the negative sign here gives us the indication that 
the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance is negatively affected by role ambiguity. That is, role ambiguity dampens or weakens this particular relationship. Is the R square change significant? That is, the interaction is causing a significant change in the outcome variable? Yes, it is. Because the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Moving on, johnson Neiman output. Now again, the moderator value may increase. Now in this case, let's have a look here. If you keep on increasing the moderator, the value of the moderator, the effect of independent, that is your predictor on the outcome. In this case, the predictor is collaborative culture and the outcome is organizational performance. Now there comes a point here, 1.5622, that after this, there is no significant change in the moderating effect. That is, the moderator does not weaken the relationship anymore. It does not moderate the relationship anymore. If you keep on increasing role ambiguity up to this level, yes, the role ambiguity as a moderator does moderate the relationship. But if you further increase it, there is no moderating effect. Look at the p-value. It increases over 0 0.05. Now, and again, there is a zero in between the lower level and upper level confidence interval. Johnson Neiman interval tells you the range of values of the moderator in which the slope of the predictor is significant versus non significant at a specified alpha level. Now, below this, role ambiguity does create a significant change in the relationship. But after this, if you keep on increasing, it does not. In simple terms, Johnson Neiman identifies regions in the range of the moderator variable where the effect of the focal predictor on the outcome is it is statistically significant and not significant. So, role ambiguity below this value here, that is from low to high up until this point, role ambiguity does moderate. But afterwards, it does not. Now, moving on, again, you can visualize the effects, how to do this. You will have this code here. You can copy this code. Now go to File, New, Syntax, and paste this syntax here, select it all, run it, and you will have a graph here, just like this. What I've done is I've connected the dots, and my interpretation is here. Now, nothing, just connecting the dots. Now the graph shows a steeper gradient for low and average role ambiguity. Now if your role ambiguity is low and average, look at the graph, the blue and the red line. This is much steeper than this green line which shows high role ambiguity. At higher role ambiguity, that is this green line, the line tends to straighten and this shows that at higher role ambiguity, the increase in collaborative culture does not lead to a similar change in organizational performance. However, at low role ambiguity and at average role ambiguity, if you change or increase collaborative culture, this leads to a more stronger change in organizational performance. Although the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance is significant at all the three levels. In conclusion, higher role ambiguity weakens the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance. Now, how do you interpret your results? This is a good initial information, but we still do not know about the indirect effect and how the moderator influences the indirect effect, that is your moderated mediation. We do know that the direct impact of the predictor, that is OC on OP, is significant in presence of the mediator. Is the indirect effect significant? Yes. Let's not assume low or high role ambiguity, just average role ambiguity, the indirect effect is significant. That is, there is mediation. Is this mediation full or partial? In this case, it is partial. Why? Because the direct effect is also significant. Now, what is this index of moderated mediation? Next, it provides conditional indirect effects of X on Y, that is this. At low role ambiguity, this is the effect. At average, this is the effect. And at high, this is the effect. At higher role ambiguity, the effect decreases. It's almost half or less than half 
of the effect when you have low roll ambiguity. The conditional indirect effect shows the indirect effect is high at low roll ambiguity, reduced at average roll ambiguity and further reduced at higher roll ambiguity. That is your indirect effect or the change in indirect effect with the change in roll ambiguity. However, the conditional indirect effects are significant at all the three levels. The indirect effect in presence of the moderator that is at mean level is 0.1673. And per the bootstrap that is within the confidence interval at p less than 0.05. You will also see the indirect effect when we probe the interaction at one standard deviation below and above the mean that is this. The results show when the moderator is low that is roll ambiguity low the indirect effect is 0.236 which is significant and at high roll ambiguity it is still significant but it is reduced. Moderating the indirect effect, the last test we need to assess is whether the construct role ambiguity is significantly moderating the indirect effect. Is it? Yes, it is. Look at this, the index of moderated mediation. So role ambiguity does moderate the indirect effect of OC on OP through CC. That is the strength of the indirect effect from OC to OP through CC changes with the change in role ambiguity. And this is also visible here with the change in effect size. Is it significant? Yes, there is moderated mediation because there is no zero in between. We can also see that the index of moderated mediation is significant. Thus, we can conclude the indirect effect is moderated by role ambiguity. And finally, this is how you report your moderated mediation, your direct relationships, your indirect relationship. This is your indirect relationship, 0 0.4100. Where is it? Here it is, 0 0.4100. Now this is the indirect effect, 0 0.61, 0 0.1673, 0 0.1673. You just need to copy it from those tables and put it in here. This is low level of role ambiguity, high level of role ambiguity, index of moderated mediation, all of it is available here. The direct effects are available in the summary tables that we did earlier. Again. This is the sample write-up. Let's assume we only have one hypothesis that is the moderated mediation. So hypothesis H1 suggested that the indirect effect of organizational commitment on organizational performance through collaborative culture will be moderated by role ambiguity. H1 was supported as the index of moderated mediation that is index is equal to minus 0.056. The minus sign means that the indirect effect is negatively moderated by role ambiguity. That is, it weakens the indirect effect. And here is your confidence interval. And this is significant since the 95% confidence interval does not include a zero. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to use his process macro model 14. Thank you very much.